Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we will talk about the problems and weaknesses of Ford Fiesta. The small, feisty and economical Ford Fiesta is fun to drive and is one of Ford's best sellers worldwide. For a budget conscious buyer, a used Fiesta might seem like a smart option. If you plan to buy one though, you should know about the model year that's received the most complaints. More importantly, there's a Fiesta model year that you should avoid entirely because it's the absolute worst. According to carcomplaints.com, the 2013 Ford Fiesta had the most complaints of all model years. Owners reported 201 problems via 973 complaints. The major problem categories for this model year were issues with the Fiesta's transmission and engine. Transmission troubles accounted for more than 60% of the problems that triggered owner complaints. Variations on hesitation, stuttering, and stalling represented the bulk of these uh, problems. In many cases, the car shuddered and jerked as if, it, as if it was as if it was gonna stall when the gas pedal was pressed. Some owners had the clutch replaced and several reported having the transmission replaced two or three times at Ford dealerships. The technicians generally offered no explanation for the root cause of the transmission problem. They sometimes told owners that they would have to get used to the transmission. Even more unbelievably, some were advised that the transmission would have to learn the owner's driving style. These problems occurred all early on at around 25,000 miles. Although no data was available for the repair cost, it's fair to guess that owners paid hundreds of dollars or more to fix the problem. Carcomplaints.com gave this category a problem severity rating of pretty bad. Uh, engine problems, while not as numerous as those with the transmission, also affected the 2013 Ford Fiesta. The most troubling aspect of this problem category is the 99 National Highway Traffic Sa Safety Association. Complaints owners submitted problems that put drivers at risk include engine stalling, sudden loss of speed, decreased acceleration, and engine fluid leakage. Some of the engine problems are tied in with the transmission problems mentioned previously, NHTSA reported two crashes, four fires, and one injury in this category. The category got the worst severity, rating it really awful. Again, these problems uh, happen early on at just over 20,000 miles. In inside and out, the 2011 Fiesta had problems so severe, it was the worst model year overall. It also earned carcomplaints.com's beware of the clunker batch. The irony here is that the 2011 model year was the Ford Fiesta's first year of availability in North America. Owners submitted complaints in 178 for problem categories and major problem categories were related to the transmission, interior, accessories, and the engine. 40% of the problems were related to the transmission. This model year's transmission was troubled by hesitation, jerking, shattering, and failure. Just like the 2013 Fiesta, owners were often forced to replace the part or all of the transmission. These problems typically cost owners $590 and the average mile age when they happened was around 55,000 miles. Problems with interior accessories may seem fairly minor compa compared to those involving the transmission or engine, but many of these uh, uh, issues reported about, about the 2011 Fiesta's doors were downright dangerous separate components of the car's doors such as the latches, locks, and gas gets all failed. A few owners uh, said that the passenger door flew open while driving. The rear seats were also problematic because they had restraints created large blind spots. One crash related to this design defect was submitted to NHTSA. Engine problems for this model year resembled those of the 2013 model year and were just as bad too. NHTSA data for these problems include four crashes, one fire, and seven injuries. Owners experienced engine stalling, lack of power, slipping gears, shattering, and lurching. As with transmission issues, Ford failed to provide resolutions to these problems for the owners. 
don't despair if you still have your sights set on uh, for Fiesta because other model eater years have better track rec records. Ford seemed to have gotten the transmission debacle under control by 2016. The 2016 and 2017 Fiestas have won the seal of awesome badge on carcomplaints.com. They have only 16 and 3 problem categories respectively. Whether you choose a hatchback or a sedan, you have choices when used car shopping. Just be sure to stay clear of the 2011 Ford Fiesta and also give the 2013 model year a wide berth as well. No matter how enticing a deal is, it's just not worth the hassles that are associated with these cars. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.